Hi friends, this is Adrienne Green, Realtor with Sampson Properties, and I have been speaking to some people who are getting ready to buy a house, and a question I'm hearing from them is, okay, I'm saving money for a down payment, what else should I be doing? So I thought I'd take just a couple minutes today to speak to those of you who are looking at buying in the near future and are just wondering what in the world should I be doing besides saving money, all right? So uh, first off, we do wanna get your finances in order because odds are you're gonna get a mortgage loan for this house, right? So saving money, paying down other debt are both valid um, things to do. And along those lines, we wanna see where your credit is because your credit and your credit score greatly affect your ability to get a mortgage loan and what the rates would be on that loan, okay? So if you haven't recently, I would suggest getting your free annual credit report. You know, there's websites you can go to for that and get your free annual credit report. Check that it's accurate. Check you haven't been the victim of any kind of credit theft or fraud or anything like that and see kind of where you stand, okay? And then along those same lines, there's a website called creditkarma.com, creditkarma.com. And it also provides you some evaluation of your credit and where you stand. It can give you a little bit of an evaluation of what's affecting your credit score. And uh, it also gives you a credit score, but I wanna make sure you know the credit score on creditkarma.com is not the same as your official credit score from the credit reporting agencies. It'll give you a ballpark of where you are, but uh, do not take it as the gospel truth of your exact credit score, all right? Uh, what the credit reporting agencies have as your credit score will likely be within the range, but not exactly the same, all right? And so keep that in mind that that is not your exact credit score, but creditkarma.com can give you some general ideas of what is affecting your credit score. Now, for a lot of those people that I'm speaking with who are looking to buy, you know, if you're in your, the market for your first house, you're younger, and keep in mind one of the things that's going to affect your credit score then is length of credit history, okay? So that's not something you can really do. You can't turn back time and get a credit card or open an account earlier, but that's why we wanna start looking at that credit as soon as possible because as you know, you can't go back in time. So use that time while you're saving for the down payment to do as much as possible to optimize your credit score, all right? so. Get your free credit report, look at creditkarma.com. And if your credit score is low or you're at all borderline between you know, different ranges, uh, I would say go ahead and start talking to a lender, okay? Lenders can look at your credit report and they often have proprietary software that can evaluate your credit and say, okay, for John Doe, this specific person with this specific credit, here are A, B, C, three things this person can do in the next three months that will raise their credit score most significantly, okay? There's a lot that goes into credit score. It's a very complex process. So we need software like this to really do the evaluation for us. But I've heard time and again from people about how working with a lender early and using some kind of evaluation software like this was able to really help them with their credit and help them either get a mortgage loan where they couldn't beforehand or have a lower rate on that loan because their credit score improved so much. So those are some benefits to talking to a lender early on in the process. And then the last thing I would say is definitely start talking to a realtor early on as well, okay? I love to talk to my buyer clients whenever they know they're going to buy, even if it's not for a while, because what I can do is I can make videos like this that I can share with them. I can give them over time multiple resources that just kind of build their knowledge so that they will be informed and educated buyers as we go through this process, right? When you go to buy a house, oftentimes it's the largest purchase you've ever made. So if I have more time with my clients to help get them ready for that purchase, it enables me to make sure they're more knowledgeable going into it, all right? And another specific thing that I can do along those lines is I can set up that automatic search email that I mentioned a few videos back. I'll put a link to it in the comments below. But what I love to do is set up an automatic search customized to this specific buyer's uh, preferences so they can get an idea of what's on the market, how fast it's selling, and things like that. And you know, maybe adjust their planning as needed. You know, If they need to save more money to get what they want or maybe they can get what they want at a lower purchase price or things like that. Knowledge is always power and when I have more time with my clients, I can give them more knowledge, all right? So those are a couple quick tips for today and if you have any other questions about buying a house or getting ready to buy a house, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to help. 
Thank you, Adrian Green, Realtor at Sampson Properties.